people believed that genes and proteins were collinear. And what that meant was that if you have longer genes, genes that occupied more space along the double strand, the double helix, that they would code for longer transcripts. And then when the transcripts were translated, they would code for longer proteins. So here we see three genes of different length along a double helical DNA molecule, transcribed into three different length green mRNAs, and then translated into three different length polypeptides that have now folded up. So in other words, longer genes encode bigger proteins. So if genes and proteins are indeed collinear, one is free to speculate as follows. Obviously, one base couldn't mean one amino acid. Otherwise, you would only be able to code for four possible amino acids. You'd only get four codons. Two bases, you'll only get four squared or 16 possible code words. And therefore, you could only code for 16 amino acids. And of course, we know that proteins are made up of 20 different amino acids. Imagine that a code word was made of three bases, then you could get up to 64 possible amino acid codons. And that was enough to account for the 20 amino acids, that if you had four bases per amino acid, that would be 256 different possible codons. And that's way more than enough to get 20 amino acids. And while it wasn't formally excluded, it didn't seem reasonable to go beyond a triplet codon.